Hey guys, Jake here. We're at Pear Tree Ranch. I got Sophia with me, and today I want to look at learning to help our horse get and hold the hind lead at the canner by using a jump or a ground pull. So we're here at our, what used to be a peach farm. Now it is a big, beautiful jump course for my wife, Steph. And I love using these poles on this sundial to help a horse pick up their feet. And especially here, I can watch and observe how they choose to land or prepare first, go over the jump and then land. So it tells me are they thinking about being ready for the canner at the slower speeds? And so what I want to share is how you can to see that. And then I've used this in the past to help prep a horse that had a hard time getting a lead um, on the ground that no matter how hard you pulled or spanked or whacked or did anything, it, you couldn't change anything, okay? But what we started using is a pole and I learned to see how his hind feet landed over the jump and when you look at that to how their feet would land in the canner, you can know when their mind is truly going a direction or not, okay? So what we're gonna start with is just nice and easy. Ask her to come around here and walk over this jump. Right hind, left hind, okay? So the right hind landed over the jump first and then the left hind. If I were gonna canner, over this jump and land in a right lead, da, da, dump. Right hind, left hind and right front land at the same time, then left front. So she just landed in a left lead at a walk. Okay, let's look at it again. Guess we're doing it at a trot. Uh-huh. And we just pulled our shoe off. Good job. Silly goose. That was on all of two days, silly. Take two. Just set it up and go again. Left hind, right hind. If that was landing for a canner lead, left hind, right hind, that would have been landing on a right lead, okay? Left hind, right hind. Let's look at it again. Aha! See how she changed what she was doing? After a few trips over, she started to relax. <laughs> See? And got more thoughtful about what she was doing. Look, she was so not thoughtful in the first go, she went, ooh, ah, ooh, pff, uh, and stepped in, pulled her shoe off. Okay? The perfect demonstration of not being thoughtful to changing her tune after a few trips. And all we did is get her from the barn. She's standing after being brushed, brought her over here, and now we've started. So there's no warm up here. This is part of a warm up you could use to learn to read your horse by how they move their feet. Let's look again. See how she landed in a right lead. This horse is a hot rod. Aha! Next time around, she changed her tune. Now, this horse is going to be nine this year, and I started her when she was two. So I've got plenty of history and she went through a phase as she was growing and changing that as the thoroughbred from her daddy started to kick in, she got herself where she could be plenty hot and bothered. And this was something that I used to help condition to strengthen her to be better at getting and holding her canner leads. Okay. That would have been a right lead, she landed left hind first. Same again. Notice I'm not doing anything with my rope or stick to influence her shape, aha! So she changed her way of going. 
by setting this up and not stopping and giving her rest when she doesn't land the way we're going left and then stopping it's going to condition her to help get more focused now this is going to have to build up to eventually one or two so could she land twice in a row holding the lead darn notice how she pushes her ribs in nose out aha see how she changed her bend a bit so i could start saying ahem get bent more left bring your nose more left there push your ribs not yet get more bent there you go to try to help encourage her to be more focused Friends are over at the barn. Aha! And since it took that long to just get one, not ready to do two yet. You hear her breathing. Okay, not deep, but not held. Okay. So she's not gonna take advantage of her little rest here to eat some grass just put her back to it oh weird she did it faster that time how interesting Oh, right hind and left hind. That's two times in a row on the first try. How interesting. <sighs> and this is how I'll do this. Just la di da like ain't no thing. Hmm, well, guess we should try again. Let's just la di da So that way she can build herself up to Very thoughtful and relaxed with her feet while in motion. <laughs> that was a lot more than you needed to do. There. Now again, she doesn't need to canter, but this is part of her process that she's choosing to do to help get herself relaxed. As she gets more relaxed, she'll realize she can just pick her feet up higher and trot, I'm not asking her to trot or canter, I'm just asking her to go. So as she relaxes herself, aha, good one, she'll do less and less. Sounds like another video, how to use a jump to get your horse motivated or relaxed aha again she uh, thought real hard about how do i do this this slow and landed right hind then left hind now we've been getting some pretty consistent not taking as many goes so let's see if maybe she could get it and do two in a row there's one There's two. <sighs> Again, she chose to canter. As I keep going, she'll realize I'm not asking her to do that. And she'll realize she can, without any running into trouble, choose to slow down. Right hind, left hind. There's one. Can we do two in a row? 
right hind, left hind. Now that we've started to get some consistency, one or two, two or more, more and more. Let's see what happens if I utilize everything I have with my setup that you could also set something up where you have multiple jumps or pulls in a line or on a circle so that the horse has lots of opportunity to get really relaxed and consistent, okay? So what I'm gonna do is slowly just walk along with her and just, we'll see. That was a right lead, that was a left lead. No, thank you, we're not squeezing past and skipping jumps. There was a left lead, there was a left lead, there was a right lead. There was a right lead, there was a right lead, there was a right lead. There was a left lead, there was a left lead, there was a left lead. There was a left lead, there was a left lead. There was a left lead. Throw yourself on the ground, look out for fire ants and go, oh, you did six in a row. Ah. Make a big deal out of it. Okay? And not in a hee tight way, but a ha. My helper. Okay? Ugh. So that way we're relaxing into our thoughtfulness instead of feeling tension, which causes our head to go up, which causes us to get out of whack and out of balance and causes our feet to do goofy things. This horse is real easy to get goofy in her noggin. That is a thoroughbred, I'm sorry. I love thoroughbreds too, but it's easier for them to be goofier because they have what people call hotter blood, okay? It's just more juice in the tank. Now, gray horse, way easier for more people to ride because he's a lot more chill, dude. Cool, bro. Versus she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, ha, he, ha, ha. Guess what? She's way better at fancier, flashier moves with less effort than he is because she's got more juice in the tank. So you just are gonna pick which horse you need for what job and you make sure that if you have a job in mind, you try to pick the right horse that's going to help you do that job versus make your life harder. This is how I like using jumps to help read my horse and I can also then start conditioning them to be stronger at holding their lead, especially if naturally they can start to have a hard time. Oh no, it just makes your face so itchy being so thoughtful. A little bug bite on your nose. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. Go out and try it. Even if you just get one little pull out and start being observant. So you see how your horse's body moves. So you can start to read how thoughtful are they really being or not. To help you in your process of either training their brain, emotions and body, or just getting them warmed up to ride. Or go have some fun. Hey, I'm Jake, this is Sophia, we're at Pear Tree Ranch, and you're watching us exclusively on The Horseman's You.